Hello everyone. In this lecture, we're going to be discussing about uh, Dijkstra's algorithm for finding single source sawdust paths. Um, in the previous lecture, we were discussing about uh, Bellman force algorithm. So essentially, what do we mean by single source sawdust paths? So, for example, we have been given this graph, and the idea here is that we like to find a sawdust path from a given source vertex. Okay, so let's say we have been given the source vertex S, and uh, we like to find all the sawdust paths from from S to each uh, other vertex in this graph. Okay, something like this. Uh, so that's uh, our algorithm should be able to to compute or to give us, right? So let's discuss about this gastrous algorithm. This gastrous algorithm solves this problem um, when the weights on the edges are positive greater than zero. While Bellman force algorithm can be applied when the weights are negative. Okay. Now let's see the how this algorithm, um, what are the steps this algorithm takes. So as you can see here. Uh, our favorite step initialize and then uh, notice here that we maintain a set, a set H, which basically simply tells us that okay, we have uh, computed the paths from the vertices which are in set S and we maintain a Q, Q uh, mini priority Q for all the vertices in the graph. So now interestingly here as we discussed in uh, previous lectures too, how to implement the uh, uh, priority queue or min queue. So we can implement uh, a simple very easy way say heap, um, binary heap and which follows the min heap property or we can implement a, a, bit, a bit more complex data structure. It looks like complex in um, in saying, but essentially, if you understand it, it's very simple. You can watch my previous lectures on Fibonacci heap, uh, which is uh, a, a very efficient data structure. So, if if we we can use uh, that data structure to to improve our our performance. Essentially, because uh, for the Q, you know, min priority Q, uh, we would be doing some some sorting operations or searching operations. Okay. So this is important that which way we implement our Q, and that will give us uh, upper bound on on the time complexity of this algorithm. Rest of the algorithm is very simple. That at line number four, as you can see here, while we we execute line number five to eight till we have no more vertex left in the priority queue. Okay. So what it is simply extract the, the vertex from the queue which has the lowest key value. Extract min operation does that. We discussed extract min operations in uh, earlier lectures uh, for the heaps um, and also we discussed this operation in the Fibonacci heap data structure. You may like to watch the previous videos uh, for that, but essentially the, the objective of this extract min subroutine is that uh, finding the uh, minimum key value node from, from the uh, queue. Okay? And then you just simply uh, do a union with the set H and then look for the adjacent uh, vertices for your um, adjacent vertices of u which you have extracted as a minimum key value uh, vertex from the priority queue and simply then after that relax relax the each vertex it relax the each edge which is going from u to v. okay So it, it means that uh, let's say you have u and its adjacent word vertices are v1, 
V2. Okay, so you're gonna relax this edge and this edge. So all the edges, okay, which are uh, going from U to adjacent to vertices V1, V2. That's it. And in the end, uh, you will find the single source sorters paths. Okay. Now initialization subroutine is very simple that uh, you maintain a, some sort of uh, you know assign the key values and assign the parent node of uh, each node. Um, so it's the same same um, subroutine or algorithm. Um, nothing but initialization it, it's doing here. And uh, relaxation is simply that uh, it it uh, tries to find um, that is there. Uh, any other uh, minimum weight uh, route from u to um, v or its adjacent vertices to v adjust or not okay so it just simply relaxes uh, that edge uh, okay. we can see in detail what does it mean that say for example at some point in time uh, you are at uh, node v and there is another edge going from u to v okay and you want to relax it so let's say here the the key value uh, of u is 3 and the weight of new edge is 4 so if you add 3 plus 4 which this basically essentially this condition is saying that if this v dot d means v dot distance or key value whatever you may call it if v dot d which is 9 if this is greater than 4 plus 4 is the, the weight plus 3 is the distance of u. If this is greater than that, that means that we can relax this edge by updating its, uh, its v dot d attribute to 7 which is 4 plus 3, okay. 4 is the weight new weight on this edge and 3 was the v dot d attribute of the u. So we updated it and we also update its parent okay, to u. Fine. So let's see uh, an example because without example um, there is no fun. So let's try to execute this gastrous algorithm on a very simple hypothetical graph example. right? So let's say we have been given this uh, graph with the with the weights on each edge. Okay, and weights are positive. Good. Now, as we said earlier, that this algorithm requires to maintain a queue, and the queue can be implemented as a simple binary heap or Fibonacci heap. But let's say this is our queue. In the queue, we have all the vertices in the graph, and it's set H. Okay. So initialization step. What does it do? It simply makes a source node, which is S. Here I have marked it a gray. So that that indicates basically the source node. And distance of each node from the source node is infinity, or you may think of the key attribute value of the node is uh, infinity or very high value. Okay, and that attribute value can be used as a key value for min, uh, min minority or uh, min order uh, priority queue. Okay, or min heap property or min Fibonacci heap. Uh, because we, we want to execute the extract uh, min operation which this algorithm requires okay so let's say uh, we extract the minimum q value uh, node and the minimum key is 0 okay 0 value which is the source vertex s so as soon as we say we select the s then we execute extract min operation what it does do it removes the s from the priority queue and uh, the union operation at line number 6 makes a union with the set edge. Edge was empty in the beginning 
now h has s element okay all right so now if you notice here that uh, the q okay is uh, is nothing but the the actual uh, set of or actual number of uh, vertices in the graph okay or let's say g dot p whatever are the vertices in the graph minus whatever is there in the edge okay so that means that our q will have so our uh, in our original set we have all the vertices and now if p minus s that our q will hold at any given point in time during the execution of this algorithm right so what are the vertices adjacent to s is t and z okay that's what at line number 7 we are doing all the vertices adjacent to to u means s and now we want to relax each edge okay so at edge uh, each edge between uh, vertices um, s and t and s and c okay so let's take uh, the edge between s and t after relaxing operation what it means that uh, uh, see earlier the value of the t was infinity okay so that was bigger than 5 plus 0 okay so we relaxed this uh, this edge and the new value of key value key attribute value of the vertex t would be 5. Now in the same way now if we take say vertex between s and z so infinity and want to relax this edge okay so infinity would be greater than 6 which is weight and 0 which is the key attribute value of the vertex s. So simply we fulfill this condition on the relax side when we want to relax this edge and we execute that procedure that uh, change the key attribute value to 6 that is 6 plus 0 equal to 6 and change its parent of the uh, node uh, z to s ok. So now we have uh, explored or relaxed all the edges between s and its adjacent vertices good now we are again back to line number 5 ok because we still have vertices left in our main priority queue. So we again want to find the or extract the minimum key value vertex. So now let us say t has 5 key value x has infinity z has t y has infinity. So essentially we would be selecting the the vertex t which is the minimum vertex and as you can see here q this are q at any given point in time will have the vertices which are original vertices in the q minus whatever vertices are in the set h ok. So we again want to execute you know what are the uh, adjacent vertices from t which would be x and z. And if you want to take the say x then infinity would be greater than the weight on the edge between t and x which is 4 plus what is the uh, key attribute value of the t is 5. So we simply relax this edge between t and x okay and update its new value which is 9 okay. In the same way uh, we should be uh, relaxing um, this vertex or taking the decision whether to relax the word the edge between t and z or not. So let us say but before going that let us say we want to relax the edge between t and y we did that and now we, we are taking the decision whether we should relax between t and z or not. So as you can see here the uh, the relaxed procedure requires that if the uh, value of uh, say 7 which is weight 
plus the v dot d or key attribute value of the t which is 5. Okay. So, this is actually bigger than the value at uh, key attribute value of g okay, or the key attribute value of, of uh, g it is less than 7 plus 5. Okay. Then we are not supposed to then this we do not fulfill the condition of the relaxed procedure at line number 1 and we do not touch it we do not touch the node g got it. Okay. So, now we have uh, you know got all the adjacent edges of t and now we are again back to line number 5 we want to extract a minimum key attribute value from the q and we have 3 vertex left x g and y out of that g has the low uh, minimum key attribute between x g and y. So, we want to now got extract min which is now z and in our q only y and x left. So, same procedure again at line number 6 you know union of this extract min uh, which is z with the h the set h will would have uh, s t and g and now for each adjacent vertex to z we want to execute relax procedure. So, how many vertices we have adjacent to g is x and y and let us say if we select x then the relax procedure. Okay. So, the relax procedure says that the, the weight on the edge between g and x which is 1 okay. and the uh, key attribute value of z which is, which is 6. 6 plus 1 is 7 and which is actually less than uh, the value of key attribute value of x. So, we fulfill the uh, condition at line number 1 that uh, the key attribute value of x is greater than the weight plus key attribute value of z. So, we want to you know to relax this and procedure what it means that we want to change the key attribute value of x to new value and change its parent. Okay. So, new attribute value is 6 plus 1 is equal to 7 and earlier parent was t but now new parent of the um, node x or vertex x would be z. So, you see how uh, this change is happening here old parent is gone new parent is is in picture interesting right. And we have uh, now next uh, or vertex is y same procedure of relaxation um, 9 plus 6 is uh, greater than the actual value which is already there on y. So, we do not touch y. And next uh, between x and y x has the lower key value. So, we selected x and uh, we want to execute the same procedure check the adjacent vertex of x which is t and uh, relax procedure does not change anything here and uh, next only uh, vertex left was y in q and if you want to see the adjacent vertex vertices of y is s and z okay, and x. So, so, if we execute the relax procedure on between y and s does not change y and x does not change anything y and z does not change anything good. So, guys see how this procedure uh, or this gastrous algorithm worked beautifully on this hypothetical uh, example graph and we found that ok from vertex s to t this is the shortest path and s to y is t and y shortest path and then from s to z this one and s to s to x is the path between s to z and z to x and we cover all the vertices and we got the shortest path from the single source s. Now, we talk about the complexity of this algorithm. Okay. So, as we were discussing earlier that uh, 
since we maintain a min priority queue. So it heavily dependent on how we implement our queue. Okay. So we have a simple queue, you know, in a, a regular structure, binary heap structure. Then as you can see here, we are uh, doing one is while loop uh, and another one is a for loop on uh, number of vertices. Okay. So which will be our complexity would be in the order of v square double loop here. Okay. Now, if we can um, minimize uh, this complexity, which is in the order of v square, uh, how that uh, you know we can uh, find a better way of uh, implementing the queue uh, because see a lot of operation we are doing here. Two loops are executing on our min, min priority queue. So we have Fibonacci heap then we can uh, reduce our uh, asymptotic uh, value to uh, in the order of v log v plus e okay so if we use fibonacci heap then we can we can get uh, we can improve uh, the complexity to a lower value with the cost of implementation of fibonacci All right, guys. Uh, thank you very much for liking and subscribing, Ali Professor on YouTube. Those who have not subscribed, please uh, subscribe, Ali Professor on YouTube. And if you like the video, don't forget to give thumbs up. And uh, we appreciate your feedback, comments, and suggestions for future lectures. For any subjects you may like to uh, have. Uh, us created a lecture for you. Thank you again and uh, have a wonderful day.